Good morning, Fairfield Christian. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Uh, my weekend went pretty well. It's because my uh, Steelers here beat the Raiders. I'm sorry if any of you are Raiders fans, including you, Samuel, but uh, gold is better than silver. That's all I can say. All right, so we're to our scripture memorization again this week. Uh, this week we're in Leviticus, once again, chapter 19. We're adding three more verses, verses 14, 15, and 16. And when you take a look at these verses, the one thing they all have in common is they all ha deal with how we're treating others. If you remember from chapel on Friday, Mason came and talked to us about how uh, Jesus changed rules into relationships. But really, even these rules, these rules are dealing with our relationships and how we should be treating one another. Whether you're looking at verse 14, talking about how we should treat those with disabilities. And this verse specifically talks about the blind and the deaf, but we can really generalize that to all disabilities, anyone that has disabilities. We, we shouldn't uh, make things harder for them. We should be looking to make things easier for them. When you look at verse 15, we're talking about justice, specifically of justice between the rich and the poor. We shouldn't be treating people differently based on how much money they have, although that's very common in our society. People have a lot of money and people tend to be nicer to them. If people happen to be very poor, people tend to not treat people so nice. But we should be treating people the same no matter how much money they have. Jesus would have. Jesus would have treated everybody the same. And in verse 16, it talks about first about gossip. Gossip is a horrible thing. Gossip does nothing but drag people down and cause problems. When you're talking behind somebody else's back, when you're uh, talking about people and uh, being mean about the things that you're talking about or making fun of people behind their back, that's never a good thing. If you ever have problems with somebody, the best way to solve that problem is to go directly to that person one-on-one -on -one, and talk about what your issues are. If you, if you have issues with somebody, that's the only way to settle them, is talking to them one-on-one -on -one with that person. And finally, at the end there, it talks about don't standing, stand, not standing idly by when your neighbor's life is threatened. I can tell you, uh, I've been in situations before, uh, obviously as most of you know, my days as a Tiger trainer, uh, there were many times where I would have to step in and save the life of somebody else. Now let me tell you a little secret, I didn't always like everybody that I worked with. There were some guys that were just mean or um, they didn't treat other people very well and uh, so I just naturally did not uh, really like those people. But in that professional environment, even though I didn't even necessarily like this person, I would still have to put my life on the line to save that person, help that person out in a dangerous situation. And God calls us to do that every single day. If we see somebody in a situation that can be dangerous, unsafe, even if we don't like that person, God calls us to reach out to that person and help that person. We should be treating people the same no matter what. No matter if they're best, our best friend or our worst enemy, we should still be treating people with kindness and respect and treating people well. We should be loving everybody, even if they get on our nerves every once in a while. We should be treating everybody the same. So once again, we're talking about these rules here in the book of Leviticus, but these rules really are trying to teach us how we should get along, not only with God, in aspects of you know, treating God's name with, uh, with reverence or not having other idols. Those, those rules deal with how we relate to God. These other rules deal with how we should relate to other, others. And we should constantly be looking at how we're relating to others in relation to how we are holy. Remember, right at the very beginning of this set of verses, it talks about how God is holy and he wants his people to be holy as well. And remember, these rules don't make you holy if you follow them. But if you are trying to be like God, if you are trying to act the way that Jesus acted and behaved, then these are the types of things, if you are holy, these are the types of things you should be seeing. You shouldn't be treating people unfairly. You should be helping out those with disabilities. You shouldn't be spreading gossip if you are holy as God is holy. All right, so reflect on these things. We'll be talking about them more throughout the week. Hope you guys have an awesome week. God bless.